Okay, so in this video we're going to be making the third page of our album. In the last video we did this page. Oh, where were we? There we go, we did this page. So I've moved my tripod now, by the way. <laughs> so we move, uh, open that top flap and that closes with magnets. You've got two double pockets here and here. Flip it over and you've got your double flap that opens top and bottom. And then this nice big spread and a little tuck spot there. Okay, so this page we're going to start off on the front and we're going to make a belly band pocket so <laughs> what we need for this let me just move those over there we need two pieces of cardstock one is nine and a quarter by three and one is nine and a quarter by three and a half so let me just see if this is big enough. Yes, it is. So if I go nine and a quarter by three and a half was the one. And then the other one, uh, these aren't big enough. So let me grab another piece of A4. So I'm really keeping a note on how much um, A4 and cardstock and that I that I use. Um, so this needs to be what was this three and a half? Yeah, so this one needs to be three by nine and a quarter. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep a note so that I can tell you how much you'll need because. <laughs> When I'm just making something, you kind of just just make, don't you? Well, yeah, anyway. So, <laughs> that's why I'm um, keeping a record of what I use. So, on the nine and a half, nine and a quarter, sorry, by three, you're going to score that on half an, at half an inch on two sides. So, the two long edges so no a uh, half an inch and then at eight and three quarters so half an inch half an inch that is half an inch is it yeah <laughs> and then on the other one you're going to do at um quarter at uh, half an inch oh my goodness what's wrong with me and eight and three quarters and then turn it and do it at We'll do it at three. So it's half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, and uh, half an inch and half an inch just on the two sides. So let me get the tape on. Uh, where's my block? There you go. So tape on all of these edges. And then we can mitre and do all that stuff. And this one as well. There. Okay. My scissors. I'm just going to mitre the edges. So mitre it means just cut a little sliver off, just up to the score line. And then on this one, you're going to mitre that edge and take away the square that's formed when the two score lines meet. So just a little over that okay. there so then we fold uh, yeah fold and burnish all of those lines and on 
on this piece. And so you'll have one piece that looks like that and one that looks like that. So the smaller piece um, is actually going to be the base of the belly band and then this pocket is going to sit on top of that. So if we take the tape off and then close that down and you can take this one off as well. So this will line up but don't go over the edge, it should line up just right. So let's go like so. And then whoop, line up that edge and then it should fit nicely. There we go. And so you've got a little pocket and then this is going to be a belly band. So what's going to happen is this is going to get stuck on here. So we need to decorate this first, then, no, that's wrong. Stick this on and then decorate it and I'll explain why in a sec. And then you'll have a belly band that will go across and a little side pocket. So we will stick this down and then we can decorate. So you want it in the middle. So right up to the edge as close as you can get, but not over, and then it should just be the right length. Yay! <laughs> so give it all a good burnish. So you've got a belly band and then a little pocket where you can put tags and little bits and pieces in. So next is to choose our paper. Okay, so now we just need to decorate. One sec. There we go. So we just need to decorate the flap and the page underneath. So for the flap, I'm going to use... Let me just have a look what was... Okay, so this was the page we've just done, so it's going to be opposite to that. So I might do... Um, let's see. Oh, that'll fit. Yeah. So in your pile of um, leftovers, you will have little bits that um, can fit. So I'm going to use this one. You know what? Let me just close that window one sec. Okay. Um, right, I need a pencil. So I'm just going to use, well no, actually I don't need a pencil, I can use my ruler. So this is three inches. My strip is just over two and a half. So that's nearly half an inch shorter. So if this is eight, I'm going to make this uh, just, um, just over seven and three quarter inches. So about seven and three quarter inches will do it. <clears throat> and then that will fit nicely just on there. So I'm going to use some wet glue just to stick that down. And 
I just had a thought as I was doing this that if you wanted to save paper you could just put two strips either side here and here because um, what I did on my prototype I did a whole sheet and slipped it under which I probably am going to do again but that is an option if you want to um, say some paper you could just do like an inch strip either side <clears throat> but I do prefer to have the whole thing covered so I'm going to do that again so this is one of the bigger pieces one of the bigger pages so we need uh, 8 by 5 so nope so another sheet so this is only the fifth sheet of paper that I'm cutting into and this is the last page so you can see we're kind of being quite conservative with our paper I think I might go for hmm what have I got left um, let's see let's see let's see Hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, my initial thought was this one, so we will go with that one. So that needs to be 8 by 5 So my trimmer is just off to the side of me. So oh, yeah, this is just going to slide whoops, underneath. So for this you are going to want wet glue. Oh. Because you can very easily slide it into place and shift it about if you need to. So I kind of lift up the flap and slide it under, trying not to touch too much if you can, but it doesn't really matter too bad. I mean, I have made more of a mess of this than I did last time, but oh well. And then just press it down. Oh, let me just grab a tissue. Not a problem. So give it all a good burnish. So we've got our belly band there, and then you've got a secret little pocket there as well. So you could slip something into that bit. Cool. Okie dokie, so that is stuck and we can move on to this side. So on this one we're going to have a pocket, just get my measurements. So we need a piece of cardstock that is 6 by 4 inches and I have some scrap bits that I can use, yep. So six inches by four, and then we're going to score it at half an inch on three sides. So this is the same way that we've done all of our pockets. So um, half an inch on three sides like so quick 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 what 
my paper keeps moving all over the place today. There. <laughs> okay, so some tape. on the sides and I again like to apply my tape before I cut and snip so I'll get edge to edge tape and you only save a tiny tiny bit by cutting it um, before you put the tape on so it's not a, not a great deal of waste I don't think. So we'll fold and burnish. And then snip. Just cut away the square and a little bit extra. Oops. And that side. And then a little bit off the top. So again, you've got that shape. And where's the page? There. <laughs> okay, so this is going to fit onto here. Yep. So take your tape off. And sides in, bottom up. lay it out a little bit so you want to avoid a smidge of the score line just so it will fold neatly so I'm just lining it up at the bottom and then the outer edge and then give it a good burnish and it will just sit nice and neatly so to decorate we need a piece that is this is the smaller of the pages so this is eight by four and three quarters i'm going to use the rest of this paper and what am i doing eight by four and three quarters whoops and then we're going to snip, cut the bottom off at, where are we, ruler, um, 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 three inches. So I just cut three inches from the bottom. Okay, so then you'll have your piece for there. And then this will slide in to there. Okay, I think I'm going to use tape this time. It doesn't really matter which you use. Usually for quickness in videos, I'll try and use tape, uh, wet glue or a tape roller just because it's a little bit quicker. But generally, I do prefer tape. I'm a tape kind of gal. And I probably should have done the tape before I cut it. It might have made it even quicker. Oh, wow. Well. So. But, yeah, it doesn't matter which adhesive you use. I like using wet glue because when it dries it seems to go a little bit firmer so it makes the pages a little bit um, more sturdy I think. But if you use tape make sure you put some across the middle so it doesn't bubble up in the middle. Okay. Right. I like to have it the right way up even though it doesn't really matter, that's just 
Oh, I roll. <laughs> Um, so we've got this one here, and if you can hear that noise, that's Mum hoovering. <laughs> hmm. I should get a sign up that says Shh, "filming in process." But, and as if by magic, she must have heard me. <sighs> See, Mum's hear everything. She stopped. <laughs> So I can't um, talk bad about her behind my uh, back because she hears me. Somehow she just knows. <sighs> Must be a mum thing. Not that I would anyway. I love my mum. <laughs> okay. So just moving things along. Okay, okay. So next bit we're doing is inside here so we're going to add a flap to this little flap so we need a piece of cardstock that is four and a half by eight and a quarter and I'm just having a look in my scrap pile I don't think I have anything big enough for so another piece of cardstock so this is now our Fourth or seventh piece of cardstock, which I don't think is too bad at all. So, four and a half by, yep, four and a half. Um, by eight and a quarter. This is going to get stuck on to here so put your tape on the flap rather on rather than on the piece of card just to make sure you get it in the right place and the tape will overlap slightly this is a quarter of an inch but it's fine. If you overlap two pieces like that, where's my bone folder? Um, it, it's fine, it will still lift up. If you take the one underneath first and then slowly sort of peel it to the side, it will still lift up. And then, oops, just press that edge back down, and the second piece will come straight up. Okay, so I'm going to open this all the way out, because I want to make sure I don't go over that uh, score line. I do want to keep it nice and straight. Oops. Oh, come on. I'll do that way instead. So I'm going up to the score line, but not over it. Making sure it's sh straight top and bottom. Okay. So then we've got an extra flap on that page. So where did I put my magnets? Yes, I put them... Here and then on here, we still haven't finished done this bit yet, we're going to add a pocket. So we need a piece that is nine and a quarter by three and a half. And yep, I need another full piece of A4. But don't worry, all these extra bits are going to get used up. Nine and a quarter by three and a half. Okay. 
and then score on three sides. Just the same as we have done for all the other pockets. Yeah. And then add your tape. Oops. Oh. Didn't do that very well. And then we will fold, burnish and mitre. Burnish. Okay. And <clears throat> mitre the edges. And then bring in your page and it's going to go on the inside of, so this is the extra flap that we've just put on. So open it all the way out and your pocket is going to go here. So tape off. Come on. And sides in, bottom up, and then we're going to put that on the edge. So again, whichever way you prefer, not don't go right to the edge, be like literally a hair's width away from the edge. And Oh, try and get it straight. Oh, I've messed that one up, I think. Oh, not too bad. Give that all a good press. There. So now it's just to decorate. So um, I'm going to leave the rest of this so it's a nice big open page and let's see what I've got left in my stash that will do so this piece can go for this side and all the rest are smaller bits so we need another full piece of paper and I think, um, where's my other pages? So I've used that one on the inside and that one, okay. I'm thinking maybe this one. This is a nice one. Um, what was I gonna say? Right, cut it so um, the normal sizes that we've been using, so eight, and uh, eight by five and then eight by four and three quarters. So let's cut that. Which way do I want it? Um, yeah, that way. So eight by five and, hang on, which is a smaller one? Yeah, this one's five, this one's four and three quarters. Five, four and three quarters, 
And then I do have this little strip which kind of makes sense to use that there really. And then this one can go on there. So that is three and a half by eight. Nope, that's not right at all. What am I saying? Two and three quarters even, sorry. Ay, ay, ay. There. Okay. So, we just need to stick all that down. Okay. <clears throat> tape because um, you can get right to the edges easier whereas with the wet glue you can't as well I don't think anyway so is that the right way yep oh nearly forgot magnets Hang on. Oh no, we were right. So this one is going straight. So before we stick this side, we need to put our magnets down. Where are my magnets? Uh, <laughs> that's my magnets. Um, bear with me, let me just find Okay, so magnets here and here. Let me just move these out of the way for a second. So I want magnets. If I can get them apart. <laughs> so I want one there. And then one out there. Then chuck the other ones on top and then you can add a little glue dot Oops. to the other side. Then when you close that, press it down. Then it will be stuck in the right spot. And then I do always put a little bit of tape over the top. Just to be doubly sure it's not going anywhere. Like so. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. Give that a good press. Now we can stick the other bits on. Just holding up my mess <laughs> before I knock it all over. There we go. Okay. Where was we? So this one's going here. Let's go for wet glue this time. To try and get right to that edge. This is nothing worse than paper that lifts up. Take the tape backing off. Press that down. Give it a good burnish around those magnets. And if you get any oozy glue, just wipe it up. 
So that's another reason why I prefer tape to wet glue. I always seem to get messy with wet glue. And then this is going to slide in that side. <clears throat> so this I am going to use wet glue again, just so you can wiggle it in. There we go. Cool. And then this piece is going to go on there. Love it. I'm really happy with how this is looking. Okay, this is pretty much empty. If I can get the last bit out. <laughs> Come on, just a little bit more. There, well, I think I have drained as much as I'm going to get out of that bottle. But I have plenty more. There we go. So we have a nice big open page and a pocket on the side. Give it all a good press and a burnish, make sure everything's stuck really well. There, so that will close with the magnet. So we just need to decorate this side and then those are our pages done. So for this one, I'm just going to see what I've got left and that will fit perfectly. So do I want the same paper? Hmm, or that side. Yeah, I think we'll have the contrast. So this needs to be eight inches. <laughs> um, oh, let me just grab another bottle. Okie dokie. Oh my life. <laughs> I can't get it out. <sighs> this isn't a thing. Oh, no, it's dried up. Bear with. Got it. So trying to get all the way to those edges oh, oh, I put it on the wrong side oh well <sighs> oh, I'm such a muppet <laughs> oh Dope. Never mind, eh? Okay, so we've got a nice big page and then the flap that doesn't contrast. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay. That's still pretty. So, those are the three pages done. So, uh -oh, and uh, so, first page is this one with the flap, the belly band, the little tuck spot at the bottom, and I'll be able to pop whatever you pop in there, it's not going to fall through because you've got that. Then, you've got a little pocket, opens up to a simple double page, closes with a magnet. This next page we've got the two side pockets, we've got bone folder, 
two little side pockets then this flap opens up and you've got a nice double that closes with a magnet flip it over and we've got two flaps that open top and bottom again closes with the magnet and then that opens up and then you've got a gorgeous double page spread with a little tuck spot on the side and then the last page you've got your belly band with a secret pocket that turns over and you've got a pocket there opens up to a triple page spread with a pocket so now that the pages are done we can get going on the cover so I'm just going to tidy up a smidge and be back with the chipboard and all that stuff. <laughs> 